everybody it's Eric 80s Horror Man here and welcome to my end of the month haul for the month of September now these are stuff that I got throughout the month of September mostly I got one book and the rest is just blu-ray so no DVDs in this video at all whatsoever so without further ado let's get started first the book that I end up getting I pre-ordered this book two months ago from Amazon and I've been wanting to her get this book ever since I heard about it on social media and uh, I just got this in the mail last week and as I mentioned before I don't read books as much not like I used to but I figured that the, with this book I figured I'm definitely gonna read this to see how it is and I did start reading it, but I'm still in the first chapter because it just takes time for me to, to read the, the book. So the book that I ended up pre-ordering two months ago that I got in the mail is Eric Roberts, Runaway Train or The Story of My Life So Far. This is his uh, memoir, his uh, autobiography, where it talks about uh, his life and also talks about uh, how he was a... Uh, Addicted to cocaine how he got into that car accident that nearly, that nearly uh, cost him his life and Then how he met his wife and how his wife had him confront all of his uh, demons So Again, I just started reading this. I'm still on the first chapter. D this book's got uh, 14 chapters I never actually read an autobiography before but this is actually my first time reading it. So I was definitely going to be reading this as soon as I got this book, and I am starting to read this book. So, right there is the front cover. Right there is the the back. So, Eric Roberts' autobiography, Runaway Train, or The Story of My Life So Far. I'll be sure to post it on social media once I get done reading the book to let you guys know how the book is. Okay, now with the Blu-rays. I found this movie over at uh, Big Lots, and I had this movie on DVD here, and I figured I'd upgrade it from the DVD to the Blu-ray, and that's uh, Collateral, where the Tom Cruise and Jamie Foxx. This movie was done in 2004, and a lot of people seem to not remember a scene previous for this movie, because it seems like it's like one of those movies that people might have missed with Tom Cruise or one of those movies that just like went under the radar. But yeah, Collateral where, where Tom Cruise plays a, a hitman who hijacks a, a taxi cab and forces the, the driver to take him to his assigned missions. So what? This was actually a pretty good movie, even though I've seen this movie before, but I still like it. I still thought it was uh, pretty good, even though or when I mentioned this movie, a lot of people don't seem to be very familiar with this movie with Tom Cruise in it, but Collateral, good movie. Next, uh, my girlfriend just re recently bought me this movie here over the weekend, and... This movie just came out on DVD and Blu-ray just last Tuesday, and this movie was in theaters earlier this summer, and that's uh, Bad Boys, Ride or Die. This is the fourth installment in the Bad Boys movies with uh, Martin Lawrence and Will Smith in this one, where only this time they're on the run from the law as they're trying to clear their, their captain's... Uh, name because uh, their captain got killed in the last bad boys movie and now they're trying to clear him saying that he was part of the the drug deal and everything when they know that's not really true so or i thought this movie was actually good i thought that there were definitely some funny parts in this one but uh bad boys 4 very good movie next another movie i bought i've bought this movie over to dollar general and this is a movie based on a Stephen King book. I used to have this on VHS a long time ago. Never got the DVD, but I finally got the Blu-ray. And that's Salem's Lot. 
So the VHS version I had, this is like the, the longer extended version. That's on for like just over three hours on Blu-ray because the one I had on VHS was on for like about almost uh, two hours or some shit like that. But but the, watching the extended version of this movie that's on for about a little over three hours, I thought it was actually fun. It was actually nice to see some of the scenes that I did not remember seeing when I watched this movie on VHS that I owned a long time ago. So, Salem's Lot, based on a book by Stephen King. Good movie. Next, I ended up buying these movies up at the Walmart because they had like their so-called scary movies since October's coming up. And these movies I bought is actually on Steelbook. And this one, I remember watching on TV, but they edited out the, the killings and stuff, and it's been a while since I watched it. So I figured I might as well get it, and that's the Leatherface. Now, this is like the, the origin story to show how Leatherface became what he's known to become. So, well, I thought this movie was actually pretty good, where it explains the background story on Leatherface, where they talk about his... His backstory on how he be becomes of who he became to be. Yeah, so right there's the back cover, and if you remove the back part, there's a little slogan that they use from the movie saying, "You messed with the wrong family." So I thought that was pretty neat. Next, another movie I bought on Steelbook on Blu-ray. I saw this movie in theaters. Never got a chance to buy this on blu-ray ever since the movie came out and i've been wanting to get it but i finally managed to get it and that's your next where the family is like having a big family get together and all of a sudden their dinner is interrupted and they're being in it terrorized by three masked assailants wearing animal masks a sheep a wolf and a fox for the animal masks so right there again is the back slip and again, another slogan from the line that they use saying, oh my God, what is happening to us? So, your next very good movie, very fun. And last, I finally got this movie in the mail on Blu-ray today that just came. And I've been you know, hoping that I would be able to get this movie when I got the, the part two in the mail but turns out uh, they had to get more copies of the first one because they ran out but now I finally got the first copy here yeah, and that's Vengeance yes the very first Vengeance of the Friday 13th fan film so since I got part two in the mail that came first I was hoping that I would get this one along with it but turns out they had to get more copies of the first one because I guess there was people who ended up missing out on the first one. Decided to get the first one of this movie as well. So, very happy to finally get Vengeance now to add to my Friday 13th collection. So, if you haven't seen this movie, you can watch this movie for free on YouTube. But where, where it's just... Uh, so fun, and this was also the late, great Steve Dash's last movie that he did before he died. So, Steve Dash, who played Jason from Part 2 of Friday 13th, rest in peace. So, Vengeance, very fun and good movie to watch. Alright guys, so that's it for my haul. Uh, what would you guys think? Have you seen any of these movies before? If so, please let me know in the comments down below. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Also, like and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for some more videos and stay tuned for my 31 Days of Horror. Later.